Hello and welcome to Poker News. Could this year's World Series be any more controversial? Beginning with Jamie Gold owing half of his winnings, then Richard Lee, second place finisher, being involved in illegal internet gambling. Now contention strikes again and everyone is asking, how did two million chips get dispersed into the main event unnoticed? For the past month, there's been an internal investigation instigated by Harris, sounds painful, as they try to decipher how these chips got into play when there were only 21 players left. It's speculated that this occurred due to a colour up error during the last tables at the main event, when the 5,000 chips were being taken out of play. Gary Thompson, WSOP director, is quoted as saying that they're taking the investigation very seriously, good thing too, and more information will be provided as soon as they learn more. Apart from the fact that Harris took such a long time to investigate the mysterious chip appearance, the main cause for concern is how it happened. Considering there's a daily count up and close tabs are kept on how many chips are both in and out of play, the question remains, was it human error or was something more sinister going on? France, it seems, has decided to follow in America's footsteps and is holding two online gaming executives in custody. The gaming site in question is an Australian site called BWIN. The arrest took place at a press conference regarding their sponsorship of the football team Monaco. The warrant for their arrest stipulates illegal organising of bets online and advertising online betting. Controversially, betting companies of French origin, such as online lotteries and online horse betting, are legal even though French authorities stipulate online bets are forbidden in France. However, when it comes to online poker, it appears France has taken America's hard line on internet gambling. Further, when asked if there are any more planned arrests, an official of the French intelligence stated, if we have evidence, we will look at them. An unfortunate consequence of this crackdown has hit the online gaming industries as stock prices have fallen, according to the London Stock Exchange. In an official statement, BWIN have said, Our operations are based on European-wide licences. We will sue the French authorities because all of this is violating European laws. There will be a number of lawsuits. This is really outrageous. And so say all of us. With poker becoming more popular, there is a demand for more poker clubs, and this one's no exception. It's called the Loose Cannon Poker Club, and it's right in the heart of London, underneath Cannon Street train station. I caught up with the founder, Roy Houghton, to find out what all the fuss is about. I've been involved in the casino business for 35 years. It was always a dream of mine to, to open a card room that I was responsible for. That it was down to me whether it succeeded or died. The tournaments will be no limit or pot limit. The cash games, I want to very, very much get a 5-10 game running, maybe even a 10-20. And if I've got some of the very wealthy boys down here, a 25-50. £25.50 limit game is a massive game. With a limit, if I can get the limit going, and I've said this for many, many years, somebody's got the guts to push limit poker for all it's worth and get it up and running, it's very, very much easier for me to teach these city people the other games, the other game variations, Omaha, Omaha Hilo split, seven card Hilo, because instead of playing a 10-20 game, they can say, well look Roy, I'll tell you what we do, you know, you want to teach us this game, we'll play a 5-10 game, you know, two pound, five pound, small and big blind, and we'll play, we'll play Hilo, you know, you show us the game of Hilo. Now if they don't like it, fine, but generally these boys are going to turn around and go, oh yeah, this is good, this is good fun. Okay, keep it at a 5-10 for a while, until they get proficient, and then, you know, in their own time, they'll up, they'll up the, the, the limit levels to 10, 20 or whatever. The Loose Cannon Poker Club certainly seems to hit all the right buttons. And with its opening imminent, only time will tell whether this club will stay the distance. And finally, could online poker be king for the British film industry? No, not another poker film, but the entire funding for a new British film has been gained through internet play. Agitated by the lack of funding Nick Scott received for his film, he turned to online poker. Remarkably, his win helped him and his producer set up a production company called Winners Productions, whose first film will be called Breakers. That's all from me. I'll see you next time.